North is a team which has struggled because of their success. If you just took this lineup a year ago when most of the players were still in the team, nothing was expected from them. If they were able to make top eight at a tournament or have a good run to a top four finish, people would say that's a good performance with the players you have, you've gotten a lot out of them. And in fact, that's why MSL, the in-game leader, was very highly praised and many to this day still think of him as one of the best in-game leaders in the game. The problem is, because they were able to get to an elite level in the latter part of last year, where they were finishing top four at big tournaments, and then most famously, they actually won a huge tournament at Epicenter and beat out the likes of Virtus Pro in the final, people then expected this should be a championship team. This should be a team which could win a major. This should be a team which every big tournament, they are a threat to make the final, to win the final. And that has not been the case on any level for the North team. Yes, they can make the playoffs of a tournament. Yes. They can make legend status at a major. Yes, they can take a team close who's a very good team, but they have consistently shown they can lose to all the top teams. They don't go deep in tournaments generally. And most famously, they have been upset on a number of occasions by teams that on paper should be below them. And the most confusing element of this aspect for North is that they're a team that do have a good tactical basis. They have some fantastic terrorist sides. They're a team who has a lot of talent in there. They have four players in their team who at different points in time in Danish CSGO history have been star players for different teams. Their problem is none of them are star players at the same time. It's like one player has a good game, another two players have an off game. One player plays well within his role now, another player is struggling with his role. And so they're a team where they have the basis to be a very good team, they have the talent to be a very good team, but at the moment they don't put it all together at the same time. And one thing they really lack for is despite all those potential star names, they don't have the one star. They don't have the Cold Zera, the Kenny S, the Nico, the Device. They have a bunch of players who do it by committee. And one game this player plays well, and another game the other player plays well. But as such, there isn't the consistency to have a player who can take over every game. There isn't a consistency to have a player who outperforms the other team's star every game. And because it's not always coming from a specific role, the style is effective, but it's not quite effective enough to be major champions thus far. So North is a team where if they're gonna win a major and they have the pieces to do it, they're gonna have to have consistency in what they get out of their roles. They're gonna have to have someone like a config, be the star player, but be the star player each match, each series, each, each phase of the tournament that they play out. They're gonna have to have players like AZ, players like MSL, who in theory are more the role players in the team, be able to consistently play those roles, setting up the star players who then perform at a star player level. Now, if these things can all happen, North has the talent level to do it. North has the tactical basis to do it. North has the deep map pool to be able to match up against any of these opponents. They really do stand as one of the dark horse teams to win the major. Their big problem is the play that they've shown us over the last six months hasn't been the play of a team that would win the major. So it will take something different. It's not gonna take their best day from the last six months at the major to help them win it. That team will not win the major. But the best team possible from this North lineup could be a team that could win the major. So the star player of North is one of the youngest players in the team and it is Config. And he is a player who has a high skill level and that skill level is accompanied by this natural confidence. Sometimes it seems like cockiness, oftentimes it's confidence though in his abilities. He is a guy where for him, aiming is easy. Taking gun battles with people and winning them, that's just what he does, that's what he's always known. And that's not something that's gonna be difficult for him within a match. His difficulty is this high mechanical level isn't always matched by the same level of understanding of the game, of knowledge of the fundamentals of what to do in each scenario. So when you put him in a situation where he doesn't have to think as much and his skill can just express itself, he can be one of the best players in the world, one of the most explosive playmakers in the game, and he can do a lot for North. But when he's in a situation that's more of a veteran situation where you have to have savvy and you have to be shrewd in your decision making and you have to sometimes be very disciplined in making a simple play rather than going for the difficult play. From that kind of a situation, config struggles sometimes and that's the limitation that holds him back from being not just a star player, but a superstar who's gonna be at top five player and every game is gonna deliver the performance where you'll say, as config goes, so north goes. So a key element within the North team, and this for me has been the most important player 
for the team over the last couple of years has been the in-game leader, MSL, because he's someone whose career, in early CSGO, he was a support player. And so from playing as a support player, originally with Glaive as his in-game leader, now the in-game leader of Astralis, he was learning how to set people up, how to fill in the gaps in a team, how to make the plays that aren't just about killing people, but actually allow a team to function, how to make them a cohesive unit, how to make them fit together. And from learning those elements, he later on embraced becoming the in-game leader out of necessity. That's the only way he could stay in the game and play at a top level. But he has quickly developed over a year, year and a half, into one of the best in-game leaders we have in Counter-Strike. He is a guy who has a really good sense tactically for what to do against an opponent, how to match up against a specific opponent, what to adapt in the game to keep you in a match and keep giving you chances to win games. And you see MSL at his best when he's in a match where he knows how many terrorist rounds his team needs to win the game. When he can grind out, he can figure out if I run this many gun rounds and I run these set plays, which are some of my best, then I'm gonna get those two or three key rounds at the right time to win a match. And so tactically, he's very much one of the best players in the game at researching and constructing those tactics and calling them in the game. His struggle, his dilemma in this era of North is he was used to using his tactics as the main way to win the game and not having as many star level players. Now he's got this ab a rich abundance of star players. He's got too many star players of anything. And now he's trying to figure out how do I give some of these star players autonomy outside of the tactic to make players themselves, it's like a config, like an AZ, but then how do I also have Magisk? How do I have Cajun? Which of these players do I rein in a little bit? Which do I make subservient to the tactic while letting the other ones be the ones that flourish and really express the star skill level? And that tricky balance of figuring out which ones are gonna be the stars and which ones are gonna be the more supportive elements to the team has been the riddle, has been the conundrum that so far no one has figured out in North and that if North is gonna go deep in the major, MSL will have to be the player who figures that out. And he's certainly capable of doing it. He's one of the few players who could break down a team like that but he's gonna have to find success with a different identity of team than the team that won Epicenter last year. The most confusing player in North is Magisk, formerly known as Magisk Boy. He's one of the youngest players in the team, and he's a player who only began to flourish in the autumn of last year. Before that, mainly people thought he was an onliner. He was one of those inexperienced players who could be streaky, could be good in one map or good in one game, but you didn't expect it game to game. And suddenly from the summer, the late summer onwards in what was Dignitas last year, that's what North was called, he became a very consistent player and he was putting up superstar numbers and his ability to impact the game was very high level. And people thought, right, the next Danish star has arrived. He's gonna be the guy who leads this team to championships. And yes, he led them to the Epicenter Championship and some deep finishes. But then as his individual game faded back from superstar play to just being a star level, so his team faded back from being a contender to win all the titles to being just a good team who were capable of going far, but usually wouldn't win the titles. And I feel like Magisk in many ways is the key to the team because he clearly has this high skill level. He has some of the best and most consistent spray in the game. He's a very good player in a passive role where you put him in one spot and he'll figure out what angles to take fights at and he can take on multiple opponents as they attack him one by one. But he's someone where he hasn't been able to have that consistency that you expect from a superstar. He hasn't had the impact where when a game's going badly, everyone who's a star player, when the game's going well, can look really good. But when the game's not going his way, when his, when his aim isn't on the game as much, how does he adapt? What does he do differently to still have an impact on the game? That's what a superstar does, and that's been the battle for Magisk at the moment. What does he change up in his game to be able to have consistent impact?